Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video, we'll learn a certain multiplication of numbers, two digit numbers, which have certain properties. Let's see what are the properties and how we can multiply those numbers. If the numbers are such that their tens digits are same and new digits have a sum of 10, two plus eight is 10, only such type of numbers we can multiply directly. How we can multiply this? There are two conditions. Number one, the tens digit must be same and the sum of unit digit must be 10. In such multiplications, you just take the tens digit, now multiply with its next number. Next number means after four, we have five. Next counting number, not this one. Four into five is 20, write down. And now you multiply 2 into 8, which are unit digit numbers. So what we have done, we have taken this 4, we have taken the next number, multiplied both the numbers, 20, and then we have multiplied 2 and 8, 2 into 8, that is 16, and write it down, 20, 16. So the product of 42 and 48 is 20, 16. The only condition is, the tens digit should be same and unit digit should have sum of 10. Let's see some more examples. 63 and 67 tens digits are same and unit digit have a sum of 10. 3 plus 7 is 10. In such case, take 6, take the next number, which is 7. Next, uh, numbering numbers, counting numbers. 42, 6, 7 is a 42. Now multiply these two numbers, 3 and 7. 3 into 7 is 21. Write it down. 4, 2, 2, 1 is the answer of 63 into 67. 42 into 48 is 4, 5 is a 20. 2 and 16, 20, 16. 6, 7 is a 42. 3, 7 is a 21. 4, 2, 2, 1. Again, we have tens digits same and the sum of unit digit is 10. Take 2, takes the next number of 2, that is 3, 2, 3 is a 6. Now multiply 4 and 6, 4, 6 is a 24. So the answer is 624. 24 into 26 is 624. 71, this is interesting. We have this tens digit as same and the sum of unit digit is 10. This condition is important. 1 plus 9 is 10. Take 7 multiplied by 8, 7 adds up 56. And now multiply 1 and 9, that is 9. But you don't write 5, 6, 9, but write 5, 6, 0, 9. Because this 7 into 8 is basically 70 into 80. And that is 5, 6, 0, 0. And we are adding this number. So 5, 6, 0, 0 plus 9 is 5, 6, 0, 9. So here we have to keep in mind that the unit digit should have two digits, nine. If there's only one digit, then take zero, zero, nine. This type of multiplication is very helpful in finding the squares of these numbers. 25 square is what? 25 into 25. Now, tens digit is same. The sum of unit digit is 10. Here we can apply this formula that we can multiply two and the next number is three, two, three is a six, five, five is a 25. So the product of 20, the square of 25 is 625. Remember the condition should be tens digits are same and the sum of unit digit is 10. So we have to take the tens digit, multiply it with the next number counting number 6, 5, 5 is a 25 and you have to write down. Let's say 35 is square. So it is 35 into 35. That is tens digit same, sum of unit digit is 10. Take 3 into 4, 12, and 5, 5 is the 25. So the square of 35 is 1225. 65 into 65, tens the digit same. Unit digit sum is 10. Take 6, multiply by the next number, 6 is a 42. 5, 5 is a 25. So square of 25 is 625, square of 35 is 1225, square of 65 is 4225. Square of 105, again, you see, here we have three digit number, but in this also, this 10 and 10 are same. So if we consider 10 as a single number, at the tens place we have 10, at the unit place, sum of two numbers, five, 
and 5. Here also we can apply this method. 10 into 11 is 110. 5, 5 is a 25. 1, 1, 0, 2, 5 is the answer of this. 1, 0, 5 square. So we can also apply this in three digit number. The condition is, for example, if we have 103 into 107, we can take 10 into 11. 10 into 11 is 110, and we can multiply 3 into 7. That is 21, and the answer is 11021. So, friends, this was a shortcut for this type of multiplication. Like our videos and subscribe to our channel.